All right, so a little update. Um, I've been doing the Dr. Goldner protocol, mostly the green smoothies, and then a lot of days in a row now of actually no meat or fish or anything at the end of the day. Now, before you freak out, before the meat eaters freak out, just hold up a sec. I'm not, I'm not totally just doing that. And before the vegans rejoice, everyone just cool it, okay? Um, no, just kidding. So what I've been doing on the days that I don't have meat, which has pretty much been like two weeks in a row now, vegans, you're going to hate this. Um, every second day or so, I calculated it out, how many I would have to take. Every second day, I take one one, not six. You know, you're supposed to take six as like a serving size. I think it gives about one ounce of liver. Um, I've been taking one capsule every two days because that's enough to get your B12 for those two days. Um, other than that, I haven't been doing uh, any other meat products except recently I was on my period. So I took six of these pretty much two days in a row, I think, something like that, two or three days in a row. I took, I think one day I actually took 12 because I was so bad off. Um, but as I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm still kind of like on my period and my lips look, in my opinion, if I do say so myself, they look like pink, which is good for me. So. Back on these, um, Spleen, this is Spleen by um, Ancestral Supplements. And these really do work for me right now. I think there's something about not eating meat and stuff all day that makes these almost work better. Or maybe it's because I was so low or something, but um, they're working for me really good right now with the Dr. Goldner's green smoothies all day. Um, I guess, I don't know, like for some reason, anyway. It's working and I just took them for my period and then I haven't taken them uh, in a couple days now. My lips are still looking okay. So we're going to stay with that. If I get low again, I'll take them again. But I had a lot of questions in my last video and I'm sorry I didn't answer them. I've just been a little uh, into life, you know, um, about why, why am I doing this? So. The first reason is I started the Dr. Goldner protocol because it's supposed to like alleviate like um, autoimmune stuff. And I figure a lot of my kind of allergic reactions to food might be autoimmune. I don't know. But anyway, I noticed that when I was on the Dr. Goldner like smoothies all day and big salad at night, I noticed that this lung infection that I've been kind of like dealing with for a while it's not bad, like it doesn't actually make me cough, but it just makes me <clears throat> clear my throat like that all the time. That actually started going away the days that I didn't have fish or meat. And then on the days that I did have meat, it would come back. And I thought maybe it was the iron, but no, like I'm still taking iron and iron, but it still goes away when I don't do meat in the evening. Don't really understand it, but I did get the Cove Cove uh, a while ago. Um, it's been a couple of years now, I think, since I got it. But I always wondered if it wasn't like kind of lingering in my lungs because ever since then I've had like lung feelings and chest kind of feelings. So perhaps still lingering. Uh, so anyway, that started going away and I'm still very curious as to whether or not my son and I got mercury poisoned when he was inside me, when I was pregnant, uh, because I just find it so strange that we have very similar symptoms. And I've done the test on a test many times on both of us with different foods, any food from the grain of a plant, uh, the seed of a plant, grains, beans, nuts and seeds, all of that, we cannot tolerate and I used to be okay with them. I used to, I used to be able to sleep and I used to tolerate grains. I used to even tolerate gluten. I've eaten gluten my whole life. Um, 
and then all of a sudden mine got really worse although i did have a little bit of the headachey stuff before so it's not a totally new thing but since that mercury exposure and i don't know if you guys want an explanation basically like one of my amalgams fell out and i basically i think i swallowed it because i never found it and um the gaping hole okay little interruption the gaping hole sat there for like two days or whatever until two or three days until I could get an appointment with my dentist to fix it. Anyway, that's a lot of mercury exposure. That's more than just like chewing on your mercury fillings or eating, you know, regular fish. Like that's a lot of mercury exposure. I also figured out, I read this article that the hair test I did for mercury does not, this was a Mark Hyman article. So take it however you want, but um, the mercury, test for hair does not measure uh, inorganic mercury, which would be the one in your teeth. So whatever I had in my teeth would not show up in my hair. It would be the fish I was eating, which was in the normal range. But yeah, who knows? Was <sighs> I still don't know if I'm, I have mercury and the way to test, apparently you have to take that DMSA or DM, whatever it's called, or one of those chelators and do a test with like a doctor and that's like i don't even know where i would do that i don't have the money to do that and i wouldn't do that on my son so i think i just need to see if we can kind of like detox this through diet and before people are like why are you doing vegan then that's the worst diet you need fiber to detox mercury you need a lot of fiber and a lot of water um and that's how you get it out of your body is you, I mean, through food, you would have to eat a lot of fiber and a lot of water. And what has a lot of fiber and a lot of water? Fruit and leafy greens, uh, not liver pills, but <laughs> those just kind of keep us going. I'm not doing it with my son like the way I'm doing it because um, he needs more than I do. But anyway, um, but I did add some green smoothies to his diet. But anyway, I figure if I can see a difference in myself, you know, I know, I know what it is and I know how to get rid of it then at that point. And hopefully we can get back to like normal lives eventually, whatever that will be, um, or alleviate some of these symptoms. But that's kind of why I'm doing it. I want to see what happens. I want to see if all these issues, these strange issues, like we both have allergies to the same foods. We both have some kind of brain neurological thing that happens uh, pretty much on a one to two month cycle for him and I, like a cyclical brain thing that migraines and seizures are similar in a lot of ways. Like you can alleviate migraines sometimes with seizure medication. So just interesting that we have these things. I have other things and apparently lung infections or lung chronic like lung stuff can be mercury as well. So it just keeps pointing to mercury for me and I'm determined to figure this thing out. So I'm going to keep going on this until my body tells me not to. I don't know. And as long as I'm, I think as long as I'm taking something to help with b12 at least uh, i'm not too concerned and then i know people are going to say protein but i eat a heck of a lot of greens i don't really want to do a video because i don't want the judgment but i eat a ton of greens now and um yeah i know it's probably not quite enough protein but we'll see we'll see how it goes i haven't lost any weight yet i have nothing's really like happened yet I sleep like really well, like a baby, <laughs> except not a baby because babies sleep horribly. Um, I sleep like a log and uh, things are going good and I feel good. So we're going to keep going as long as I feel good. And then if I end up like, no, this is not working, I'll stop. But anyway, that's my update. Sorry to disappoint pretty much everyone, but that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs>